Now to a Mississippi school assignment that has sparked national backlash. Students at a local middle school in Lamar County were asked to play the role of a slave as part of a class writing assignment. 12 News, Dominique O'Neill has more on the controversy this role-playing exercise has caused. This is a picture of the controversial assignment handed out to students at Purvis Middle School recently. It has some in the community concern. And it, it looked like it was a whitewashing of, you know, slavery and what it was and what it meant to black people as a whole. Um, it, it was offensive. That assignment did not bring truth to the institution of slavery. I don't think the assignment, I think the assignment was a poor taste. And I think that, um, I think that, you know, the, the school district, um, if they're going to allow a teacher to be able to do something outside of the curriculum, then they need to approve it. The Lamar County superintendent says the intention of the assignment was to teach students the negative impact slavery had on American life. That assignment missed the mark uh, terribly. Uh, we are, we are, we, once we were made aware of that, we started an investigation to make sure that we uh, address the situation appropriately, uh, make sure that we are here in Lamar County, uh, that we're, we're providing a safe learning environment that is inclusive to all of our students. Here in my hand is a copy of that controversial assignment that was handed out to Purvis Middle School students recently. I spoke to parents who say assignments like this have no place in the classroom. Saddened because of everything that's going on in the world today uh, with uh, racial uh, just injustices going on. I just felt like um, that was a very bad move uh, for uh, someone to assign that particular um, homework for the students dealing with slavery. Parents and family members of students voiced their concerns at a meeting held at the high school this evening. No cameras were allowed in. Reporting in Lamar County, Dominique O'Neill, 12 News.